This video takes back to November 2013. Earlier in that year, I accidentally put my foot through my mum's bathroom floor. It took us two days to replace all the rotten wood and the floorboards, making quite a mess of the hallway in the process. But months later, I still found condensation dripping down from the toilet cistern, so I decided to add some ventilation, hence this video. As far as I can understand, the sealed unit here meant that the temperature of the system was always going to be lower than the rest of the room. And of course, condensation forms when warm air settles on cold surfaces. My first job was to remove the lid of this sealed unit, which you can see was held in place with these invisible hinges. Back in my workshop, I made a template that I could use to make two large holes in the top to fit two soffit vents. I've also found that a knife works well to remove the backing from double sided tape. As you can see, I achieved a nice snug fit with each hole using this method. Now ventilation works best when you have two points, one for the air to enter through, and one for the air to exit from. I had every intention of using a large cheap hole saw to drill two holes in the plinth here. But then I decided that the gap between the shelf and the plinth might be sufficient. Further issues were present on this wall behind the shower unit, but we've since sold the house and moved on, so it's someone else's issue. But I hope you found this video interesting and I thank you for watching.